Tale of the Demon Sword. Pardon me. Are you, uh... Don't bother. He can't hear a single word that you're saying. The poor guy's completely deaf. He's just been standing over there getting soaking wet for a long time now. He's as soggy as a drowned rat. And he can catch a cold for all I care. It is the rain. I believe he's listening to the melody of the rain. Huh? I told you, he can't hear. Well, it certainly appears that way. Uh, hmm. Hey, are you from a rich family? Uh, you have pretty words and a ladylike face. I can't imagine you're some country girl. <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? Well, uh, the past was long ago. Now I'm just another humble peddler. Hmm. Well, whatever. So let me ask you, what was it that you were praying so hard about anyway? For some good business? I was praying that my older brother would come home to me soon. Huh? Your brother? Where'd he go? To fight a war. It's been five years now. Five whole years? If it's been that long since he left, he's probably already... <gasps> Something like this. This katana was thirsty for blood, so I cut them all down. Your katana was thirsty? That's a load of crap! This is no ordinary katana. It's a demon sword that lives by feeding on human blood. Once you have it in your hands, it controls you. It wants nothing more than to kill. You're blaming the katana for slaughtering everyone? Then why don't you explain to me why you've got that creepy smile on your face? Just like me, there's a lust for violence in that blade you have. But it's a bit too slow!
down from here, then he must be, right? Oh, oh right, your leg. Hold on, I'll go get it. Let's see, where's his leg? Leg, leg, oh. There it is. And that guy's katana stuck in it. That's really messed up. Okay, I'm getting rid of this thing. Are you two out there? Where are you? Is that Tanosuke? I'm so glad you've come back. Oh, Sushi. Yes, I'm right here, my dear, dear brother. I've been praying and praying for so long. I've been praying for your safe return home. And so right now I, uh... <clears throat> what is it, brother? Are you looking for something? Oh, nothing. I will be all right. It will return to me soon enough. Just go back! Listen, I don't want to go this way! Oh, crap! Just let me go already! You stupid katana! Hey, kid! What are you doing out here all by yourself? You need to get off the mountain now! There's some crazy maniac on the loose! Forgive me, Osushi. To fight is the duty of a samurai. Please understand. Don't worry. Father and mother will surely be watching over me. <laughs> I shall be back before you know it. I do hope so. Tanosuke, hmm? I saw earlier they were selling these out on the street. Chestnut rice. You always liked chestnut rice, didn't you? Do you remember? Back when I was just a child, how once I started crying, there was no way to get me to stop. Mother would always try to soothe me somehow, but I would just keep on wailing and wailing. And whenever that happened, you would come in and fold a paper crane for me like this. And I stopped crying just like that. I would sit there and just gaze at that crane forever. Sitting right here. He's here! Stay off the street! Yeah. 
Yakimaru. Okay, brother. Let us go back home. Come back with me. Tonosuke, say something! I'm begging you! Please tell me what happened to you! What made you... What made you like this? Do it! Do it now! I said to kill him, Tonosuke! That castle carpenter has built quite a magnificent fortress for me. Not even a great renowned army could come in and take it over. However, if he betrays us, he could expose its weaknesses to our enemies. It would be no better than a sandcastle overnight. So you must kill him before that happens. I beg you! My lord, please reconsider! You're pathetic. Are you not up to the task? Then just take this and finish yourself. that's been stored away. It's rusty and dull. Just right for you, wouldn't you say? Now kill him! Do it! <laughs> that katana is special. It's said to get sharper as it comes into contact with blood. I have no idea if that is true or not. <laughs> but there's certainly enough blood here. more blood. Nihiru demands it. What's that? You want even more? Leave it to me. I'll soak you in it. As much as you wish. It is here now. Sushi. What are you doing? Stop it! It's me! Can't you tell? Damn it! You need to let go of me, Osushi. Let go. Tanosuke! Get out of my way! Everything changed whenever you left for war. I could not defend the house nor the land on my own. And now it is all gone. But with you finally back here with me again, we can live like we did before. Please, stay here with me. I don't care if you're not the same anymore. I don't. Uh. Uh. 
Will you please stay? Uh, Tanosuke! Nihiru is calling. Uh, Tanosuke! Yakimaru, you got it. I can't thank you enough. I'm so exhausted. This katana is mine. It is mine and mine alone. <laughs> Why didn't you kill me before? Because now you won't be given the chance! It feels good to have you back, Nihiru. Brother. <laughs> Are you okay? We have searched everywhere, but could not find the whereabouts of the midwife. As for the child, still nothing. 